Hello and welcome to my next episode. This is Divya. Today I am visiting Vadakanathan Temple at Trishur. Temples are the cornerstone of our culture. They show development which had happened probably 1000, 2000 or even 5000 years ago. They show equality and economy and how people traded and moved between places. Most of all, temples show development of science and how some of the things which work today were already being done by people so many years back. I am visiting the Vadakanathan temple at Trishur today in this video and seeing this huge banyan tree, I went quickly around it as a productioner as it represents growth, strength and self-awareness through reflection, meditation and a quieting of one's mind. It was also under the banyan tree that Buddha found in enlightenment. The Vadakanathan temple has a rich history due to the Trishur Puram, which is held every year wherein lakhs of devotees participate. Mahashivratri is the main festival which is celebrated in this temple along with many other festivals. Cultural and musical programs are held in the temple premises. Around 1 lakh temple lamps are lit in this festival with elephants being used in the procession as well. This is the largest temple in Kerala with an area of 48 acres. I could feel the vastness when I went around to take a full production of the temple and visit all the gods within the temple premises. According to the legends, this temple was founded by Parashurama. Parashurama wanted to retire to a new land to perform tapasya and so he requested the lord of seas and the oceans, Varuna, to provide him a piece of land which is now known to cover parts of India from Goa to Kerala. Then Parashurama went to Mount Kailash to his guru, Lord Shiva, and requested him to take a boat in Kerala and thereby bless the region. Lord Shiva, along with Parvati, Ganesha and Supramanya, went along with Parashurama to satisfy the desire of his disciple. Shiva stopped at a spot, now Trishur, where a bright and radiant Shivalinga was formed at the foot of a huge banyan tree. This place is known as the Sri Moolasthana within the temple Avarana or premises. As per records, for some time, the Linga remained at Sri Moolasthana at the foot of the huge banyan tree, post which the ruler of Cochin, with the help of the temple priest, shifted and reinstalled the Linga in a new place wherein a temple was built around it. Adi Shankaracharya is believed to have been born in 788 AD to Shivaguru and Aryamba of Kaladi, consequent to their prayers to Lord Vadakanathan as Atma Swarupa of Lord Shiva. The couple devotely prayed for 41 days at this temple. Legend has it that Shiva appeared to the couple in their dreams and offered them a choice. They could either have a mediocre son who would live a long life or an extraordinary son who would die early. Both Shivaguru and Aryamba chose the latter. In honor of Shiva, they named their son Shankara. According to the legend, Adi Shankara attained Videha Mukti, freedom from embodiment, at the Vadakanathan temple. As I went around to have Darshana of the main god, the Linga of Vadakanathan, I found that it is not visible as it is covered with mounds of ghee, like the snow clad Shivalinga in Mount Kailash, due to the regular Abhishekam conducted over many years. It is said that the ghee never melts, even in summer season, nor due to the warmth of the diyas lighted inside the Garbhagraha. There is also no foul smell inside the temple due to the presence of so much ghee. The linga has three serpent hoods on the top as I could see. Devi's temple in the same shrine is facing the back of the temple. Both the deities Shiva and Devi don't face each other. Since this image of Devi is made of wood, Abhisheka was only done with turmeric. Shiva and Parvati facing away from each other denotes the form of Ardhanarishwara. In the inner area of the temple, there are other shrines built for Rama, Shankara, Anjaneya, Nandi, along with temples in the outer area of the temple for Krishna, Nandikeshwara, Parashurama, Ayappa and Ganesha. There is also a temple created for Adi Shankara here. 
at the outer edges of the temple there are places created for worship of kashi vishwanatha nataraja ramanatha swami bhadrakali and goddess durga among others vadakanathan temple complex also houses the elephants which are used during the processions and i got to see them taking a bath and having a meal i also went across the road to see another devi temple which was shifted a few decades back from the main premises of the temple as i was concluding the visit this temple is a must visit if you are visiting trishur or passing by as it offers darshan of shiva and is full of history of hinduism and also houses a temple for adi shankara who was the most profound scholars and developers of advaita vedanta and has set up several mathas and temples across india at a very young age